Translating your sketches and watercolor vignettes into practical art is a really easy thing to do. And that's what I want to show you, how you can take some of those vignettes and put them into a bookmark format. So this is a, a paddle trip that, uh, we, that we took across Canada. Um, and so I'm going to take this little stern view of a canoe and show you how we can put that into a long vertical format for a bookmark. And uh, what I did in, in this case is I, I made up a set of these and passed them out to our travel companions on that, on that trip. So great memento. You can put the name of where you were on underneath it and away you go. So show me how you do. I know you can do this as well. So uh, give it a try and let me know what you think. So I was part of a crew that paddled um, across Canada for Canada's 150th uh, anniversary and and this is the the paddle journal that I used and did a little watercolor vignette of um, in this case it was a tandem canoe with somebody sitting in that and I thought I might take this and translate it into a bookmark format so roughly two and a quarter by seven and a half and let's take this and put it into a little bookmark that can be a, a kind of practical application of, of that artwork so in for the canoe you've got this center line and you know, I, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm not real great at, at doing kind of symmetry here. So um, you have to be forgiving with yourself. So I'll just start by saying that right up front. So there's the, the canoe shape. And you know, one of the things that I've always held quite close and quite dear is the whole notion that if somebody doesn't like it, what you can do is you can hand them the pencil and say, well, you go ahead and try and see see how, how you do. Um, and you know what I bet? I bet they won't do it. Um, it's good fun. Anyways, so the think about a body as just being that body shape, kind of a little bit perhaps narrower at the top. You've got an arm coming down here, a little bit bent at the elbow. You've got a, a paddle that's, that's partway into the water here. The hand holding that, there you go. Got their head up here, maybe a hat on them. Now this is not, I wouldn't worry about thinking you need to be Picasso with all of this. Um, you got the other arm coming down here and you know, everybody in a canoe, kayak, you wear, better wear a PFD. So put that PFD in there as well. Now the sun is, we wanna say they've got some dimension here. So the sun is coming in from this side so this side is going to be darker. So maybe just a little hatch marking off on this side. And there's your basic canoe shape. And really, I think anybody can do this. Um, now I want to take some green, because it's a green canoe, and I'm just going to use some light watercolor here. And fill in this canoe, you know, and you'll you'll see, I'm not gonna paint up everything on this. I want the, the, as it turns out, what happens is that the human eye fills in what's not there. It's a, it's a really kind of interesting um, side of what happens with the human brain. Now, because the light is coming in from here, I want this side a little bit lighter. So I'll just take and draw that paint off to the one side a little bit. So there's your, kayak your canoe form and maybe I'll, I'll do and add just a little bit of of blue to this to give an idea of the water you don't want to move up into the the green quite yet and just add stay stay away from the green to begin with and then you've got it kind of moving away from the canoe i'll show you what else we can do here to give it even more dimension to this is that we can take a little bit of that green now and we can give it this reflection in here. Now, I will tell you that I'm gonna paint this PFD here. I'm gonna paint it orange. So what I wanna do is take a little bit of orange and just add it to this here. It's a bit too much and take a little bit of it out. And then I'm gonna, normally I'd wait till this whole thing dried, but I wanna give you an idea of how it goes. So this is that canoeers PFD. I'm going to stay away from that green, otherwise it'll bleed into there, and I don't want that. So a little paintbrush, this is, what is it? It's a zero, I think, or one, something zero, yeah. Um, so 
paint this up. There's the, the PFD that we should all be wearing when we're out in a, in a boat anywhere. There you go. So there's, there's that canoe shape that you've got. Put your initials on it, the bottom, and away you go. And this is on, this is what I called um, Paddle Canada 150. And that's from our trip across across Canada. So um, give it a try. Take it right out of your out of your little sketchbook, your little travel journal and paddle journal in this case, and translate it into a, a bookmark. And every time you're reading the book, you're going to have that memory uh, just be that much more refreshed in your in your mind. It'll your memories will stay clearer. Um, you'll have more memories. All of those kinds of things when you're able to do um, little sketches and keep a travel journal and a paddle journal. You'll absolutely love it.